Hurrah. All right, so pretty even comps. Two RD. I still feel like the game is still won and lost down on this southwest, so that's generally where I would head. You kind of have to look and see what your team is doing when you start heading out there, though. The whole tricky part to play in this southwest is if they move their artillery up here, their artillery can get shot into that area pretty easily, so you have to, to uh, make sure that you play through that side uh, as an hardy safe as possible. So I'm saying most of your guys this way, which is good. And you are in an E5, which is a really versatile tank, particularly uh, uh, in a comp like this. And I always make sure that I turn my turret this way, so that if I, anybody blind shots or anything like that, and, you know, the turret has a chance to catch it. See, so medium stopped here. That's not so good, but they also really didn't see a whole lot on that other side, so we'll keep an eye on that. You sent some mediums up this way, which is fine. That's that's actually good. They can basically be the advance guard for you, and then as you pull up there, you're basically going to take their that position in the front. They put an E50M forward, so you keep an eye on that. But what you're really trying to keep an eye on is, do you see anything come through this back area over here? You still got a bunch of guys going over here. You don't really want to play through the outside over here. You want to play through the inside, with like where your E50M is at. So you'll get better uh, opportunities over there. See these guys. See these guys that play along this outside here, particularly the guys that go to this rock. This rock is a little no man's land, so you don't really want to play that too much. So you're not really in a position where you can do anything. Like you should, you should notice that because your um, your mediums are are basically fronting for you, which is not really what you want. So you've allowed them to take that first step, which is good for them. I'm gonna worry about the T57 right this instant. Again, you don't really need to push around that outside. You really want to push more through that inside, at least to start. And you can hatch that that 103B from this range. You're not really worried about that. You're not really looking to get shots on this side unless those guys poke out a lot. Right? Like this isn't like gonna be super profitable for you to watch unless unless that guy just comes out there. But that works. If he wants to stick his face out there, now you can just shoot him, right? If, if he wants to, if that's how he wants to play it, by all means, go ahead and play it that way. But again, that's not really going to be a real profitable side for you to just hang out on, especially when these guys are sitting over here in, in positions where you can pull down and, and shoot at them, right? Then, then all of a sudden that becomes a little significantly more profitable for you. You've lost this backside, so you need to keep an eye on that. Like you're, you, you need to basically just turn around. Like again, they're not really showing a, a whole lot of effort to move forward here, so uh, they don't have to. Again, we talk about uh, you know whether you feel like you're pressured or not. Like I don't feel like this was necessarily a worthwhile move simply because you're you're missing a lot behind you, right? And it's not like your team was like super pushing up. Now, if if your team was not you know uh, losing the base, then you wouldn't necessarily worry about it as much. And you can bully here, but again, you have to keep in mind that you, you're on a timer. We didn't even scratch them. So I think a lot of this is, is going to end up being on you, unfortunately. So now you should turn around and go back. Like There's no reason. That you, you, they don't need you here. Oh, man. Oh, man. And, and again, like I was saying, if it was, it would be one thing if they needed you here, if they needed you to be able to, to finish these guys off. But that's not really the case. Also, you're, you're really artillery vulnerable right now to, to this area here. Although I wouldn't say that there's artillery over there because they haven't really put anything uh, to that side. Or we haven't seen any damage come off of that side.
And again, there's still no reason for you to, to worry about pushing forward here. You might as well go back at this point. See how they're starting to pincer in through the back? They're trying to give it up. You're basically allowing them to... Like, you can basically just drive backwards out of there. Like, there's no reason, again, for you to, to be here. It would be one thing if, they, if it was really required. But see, what you really need is somebody to anchor this backside. So their team really tried to throw this. Your team... You, you could have pro probably stopped that on that other side. And again, peering through this corner ends up being a, a problem simply because this, this corner is uh, vulnerable to artillery and their artillery really has no reason to hide anywhere else. Now you might as well drive forward. Like what you want to do is drive over here, so now you can catch these guys coming back. What you don't want to do is turn your ass to the RD, which is what it looks like you're about to do. Oh, their RD is over here now. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure why they felt like it was a good idea to push here. And again, you're better off going through. You're better off going through on this side over here where you can use this hill to hold down than coming out over here where you have to expose your hull. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Yeah, that was a little bit of a rush shot. And again, you need to get through this a little bit faster than you're than you're doing. You're like a little bit too much lackadaisical here. Man, their team really tried to lose this. And again, a large part of your problem is that you're on the wrong side of this rock. If you were on this side of the rock, then you could use this hill to hold down. But you're basically allowing them to track you. And you don't, you're not looking for options here. You're just sitting here. And again, that's the whole purpose of, of cap pressure, right? Is to make it so that you are forced to do stupid things. So you could very easily push up through this side and be a lot more aggressive there. So you're pushing through this open side, which I'm not a super big fan of, but see, see how this hill here like protects you a little bit? Oh man, I can't zoom in on my own. Uh, oh, I can zoom in on my own. Okay, like see how this hill protects you a little bit? Like if you're basically where this E100 is, see how it came around that rock? You basically make it so you're hauled down against these guys, and you, you'd you essentially be invincible, and there's no reason for you to, to dilly-dally back there uh, in, the way, in the way that you go. We didn't penetrate their armor. Do, 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 do. Let's see, so you're still gonna be, you know, maybe like 10 seconds late, roughly. But, okay, so, like when I when I first uh, looked at the, uh, at the results, I had a lot of sympathy for, oh man, that looked like it was gonna be a rough game for you, but uh, th this game was 100% on you. Like, the decisions that you made in that game were the difference between winning and losing. And yes, your team did not play that well, but, you know, it's there's there's a difference when your team lets you down and when you let you down. Like um, again, uh, I think the biggest part wasn't necessarily that you continued to fight here. Although I I wouldn't have necessarily recommend pushing forward uh, to this position where you push forward to, um, because your team was just sitting in the back and their team wasn't really threatening either. So it you very rare, easily could have turned around. And if they if they decided to cap you out at at that point, your game is already over. Like it is done. And there's no late game heroics, uh, so to speak, right? So their team tried to throw it by coming off cap and to, trying to chase everybody down, which isn't which isn't the right play, or it's very rarely the right play. 
Um, but that's what they decided to do, which is why it was so, they were so close to losing. Um, and if their artillery didn't move up here, then you know they would have lost ultimately. Um, but again, you didn't really play that very well. And a lot of it is understanding the terrain, being able to fight on terrain going in different directions. So you should have known that you could have been hauled down to those guys that entire time. And yeah, they could have potentially sniped at your, at your cupola, but you would have pushed them back because you would have been firing on reload, right? And there's nothing that they could do. They would have had to push back behind here. And then you just move up to the next point and you just start bullying them. And then it's that's sort of the strength to to the e5 is it is rather versatile so you can flip it and go to different areas on the map and uh and, and clear people out in that in that way um so it's something to keep in mind all right so if we look at the stats yeah you unfortunately lost the game with a <laughs> three tier 10 heavy still alive, which is not what you want to see, but them's the breaks. Mm, you didn't shoot like super well, but I mean, you shot, I mean, considering the ranges that you were engaging at, but I think a lot of that was you're not it doesn't appear like you're used to bullying with the e5 the e5 is a really bully tank in certain situations where you can be hauled down or you know where you're against smaller guns and things like that and i mean you blocked ak damage um with the e5 in this game and it really could have been a lot more if you were um you could have also done a lot more damage there was a lot of situations particularly at that end where you weren't really making use of of your gun as efficiently as you could have um, so that's something to keep in mind Otherwise, GG. Nice try. Damn things happen. All right, and then next we'll look at uh, Slidex 6 T54 game. All right, um, pretty even comps, one big RD. Uh, so particularly on Tundra, I like going over here in the early game just to get some free damage. Although people are getting a little great stem there. Um, people are getting a little bit uh, wise to that, and they're not just pushing up there and allowing you to shoot them in the side for free. But it's always nice to go and check. And then I always like, so the reason why I feel like that that's free damage is because I really feel like this hill um, is very easy to defend um, from. So I always like how, when the enemy has the hill because they try to get shots off of this top over here and it's pretty easy to shoot them. And it's not really easy for them to shoot at you. And then I'm really just looking to uh, win through someplace else. So I'll generally come over here in the early game, collect my free damage, and then I'll go someplace and win a little bit uh, where I feel is more meaningful. Particularly for mediums, it generally involves playing through this area right here, which tends to be more weakly guarded and allows you to get into some flanking positions. Oh, so you're going to see this is this is the position I like. So one of the things is that particularly in tanks that don't really have good depression, if you come a little bit more this way and over the side of your tank, you don't need to push up quite so far because when you push up a little bit, you're you're committing a little bit here, and that's not necessarily what you want to say. Oh, man, 
And it's risky to play through in the way that you're playing. See how they're sitting in the back? That's good for them, but see how Artie can hit through this lane that you're in right now? Like that. Um, which is why you don't want to sit up here. And so they did that, right? So this is what you see more and more. People coming up here to collect the free damage. And then it's just whichever team is dumber, right? Whichever team pushes further forward here is going to lose. So very sad. And see how this Conqueror is right there? That guy's potentially vulnerable as well. So you can peek out here to see if he's still there. You can also play through this side on, on this corner as well. Get that track, boy. You can still shoot him. You want to bait that shot into your turret. Like, again, you were reloaded there. Like, there was no reason for you not to not put some pressure on there. Get him. Get him. Oh, you're getting pushed by the mouse. <laughs> that's, that's teammates for you. And then again, it's important to win away from the hill. So like, see where these guys are winning, playing through right there? That's where you want to look to win. And you can drive straight there. There's no reason for you to drive all the way through the back. You can drive even through this mid area here. And see how they're pushing onto that hill right now? That's good for you. You want them to have that hill. But see how they're winning through this side? That's not good for you, because you can't lose this side. E5 is crossing through the open. No, get a shot on E5. E5. Get that E5 down. E5. E5. No, shoot the E5. Like You should be shooting that E. You should be aiming on that E5 right now. And then you don't want to sit where you're sitting here. Like I don't understand what you think you're protecting yourself from, because that T10 can't shoot you, but Artie can hit you over here. So I still feel like you, I mean, you've lost a lot of health because your team hasn't played this very well, but you still have an advantage in that they own the hill. And as I was saying, the hill is such a disadvantage that if they stay up there, that you can even this up pretty, pretty quickly. You still want to push through this 2-3 line, though. You could theoretically go to the back of the T10, but I don't think that's a good idea because the JPE is going to be back there. You're better off going down here and winning with these guys. Either that or you have to be willing to take a JPE shot. Like if you're willing to get shot by the JPE, then this is a good idea. If not, it's what are you doing here? Like what are you really doing here? Luckily the JPE is not playing. Oh, the bounces are real. Back of the turret, my man. Back of the turret. Back of the turret. He's got the back of the turret to you. Back of the turret. Back of the turret. You don't even need heat for the back of the turret. There you go, that's what we want to see. So they did push off the hill a little bit, um, but you still want to clear through this side if you can. You, you don't want to leave this flank loose over here. You have a Billy Goating STRV, but that doesn't really matter too much. Like ideally what you would be able to do is counter clear through down here, especially when you have the speed, right? You'll notice that all of your speed is, is uh, you don't really have any speed on this west side. And so you could push down around through over here and cause a flanking issue for these guys or figure out if the arty is down there. Lol. That's the heat in action. And then see how there's, they still have guys on the hill? That's fine, because those guys, again, remember, don't project very well off the hill. But, so what I don't understand is why you feel like pushing into this side is a good idea, especially since you, you know, you're, you've, got, you're, you've got some vulnerabilities on the west side as it is. Like, you've got literally one single guy protecting the flank, and he has no idea if there's anybody pushing up through here. So I don't feel like this is a very good idea. And again, remember, this is the problem with playing the hill and the way that these guys are playing it, because they don't really get very good shots off of there, but it's pretty easy to shoot them. But I, I still don't feel like playing this side is a very good idea, although you do have a full health mouse over there. Like, I, I feel like it would have been better for you to support this guy over here. 
And the E75 can potentially one-shot you, so that's going to create some issues for you. It looks like he might try to get to the back of the, the mouse, but you can kill him. You can kill him. Yay! And then now, now the hill becomes somewhat of an intriguing play, right? In the late, 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 late game. But all the way up until now, it's almost always a liability. Right, your team tried to play the hill first, and so that's why you got behind, and then their team took the hill, and then that's why they got behind. But again, I, I still feel like you, you would have been better off playing through this west side, helping out this type four, uh, because it would have been very easy for you to flank that JPE on one side or the other. Like, okay, rookie mistake, rookie mistake incoming, everybody's on one side of the map, so what should I do? Should I go to the same side that everybody else can do? No, you want to go to the opposite side. Like, you should be all the way, like, down over here, shooting into the back of these guys. Like, you shouldn't, there's very rarely ever a situation where I'm, where I'm in my medium tank, and I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to take on some tier 10 tank destroyers frontally. Like, I'm, I'm never saying that. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm never really saying that. If I'm in a, in a tier ten heavy armor tank, I'm never really saying that. I never say, "Oh, you know what I should do? I should fight these guys in the face." So you should have. You should still be going down this line right here and come to the back. See if they fall back. If not, you can. I'm pretty sure that Artie's going to be back either on this side right here or on this side right there, and that would allow you an opportunity to get those guys out. He'll come out on the other side. You just be patient. Oh, man. And again, you're like going to the area where you'd be most vulnerable to artillery. And then, so now you need to back up a little bit. Ah, oh, not to don't go out there. That JPE should have punched you in the face. But now that he hasn't, now you can shoot other people while he's reloading. Like, okay, for some reason you thought it was okay to step in front of the JPE to get the shot. But then when the JPE is reloading, you don't use that position to to shoot at people. Like, I, I think you're being a little bit too, uh, too sportsmanlike. There is such a thing as being too sportsmanlike, but you do need to get off of this side. If they do try to cap, that's 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 one thing, but you're, there's not a whole lot that you can do to stop that. So now you need to actually run, and you can spot the cap from pretty far away. What you don't want to do is go someplace where there's a short distance between you and the opponent, because you need to make it so that it's difficult for them to do this. Man, you're living dangerously with that JPE. Unfortunately, nobody was smart enough. If only you had a medium on your team that could have taken out the uh, their artillery. If only. So you do just need to keep those guys lit, at best. Oh man, although your guy might die. Oh, so sad. So you need to get off of that side because you need to kill that T-54E1 or be in a position where that T-54E1 can't, can't shoot you for free. Oh man. You really like living dangerously with this JPE. Like you're like, I'm going to go into a position where I can't shoot you and you can shoot me and we're just going to stare at each other for a second. And there's no real distance that you can go to. He's just sitting out in the open because he's not that good of a player. But you just basically need to get into a position where you can get, shoot a track and then worry about it after that. Because you're never going to get far enough away. And so the problem with being out here is that the T-54E1 can shoot you. Yeah. 
You should be looking over here, because that's where the T-54A1 is going to be coming from. Oh, they're both on the cap. Even better. Now you know exactly where they are. Oh, the JPE is coming off the cap. So now you can just run away, is what I would do. Because now... Oh, JPE got back on the cap. No, you can't run away anymore. Can't run away anymore. Well, I mean, I guess you can go up through here, but that's a little risky. The good news is that the... Uh, I, so, I, for, particularly for this, I wouldn't load heat, because really what you want to be able to do is, uh, um, you don't necessarily need to pen the uh, JPE, you, you want to try to get a shot on the T-54E1. But you can ignore that guy. There you go. That's what we're talking See, this is a good decision, right? Oh! The, you rushed the shot, but <laughs> he rushed the shot even more? The panic is real, boys. The, t the panic is real. And then just drive away from him. Just drive straight away from him. Straight away. You can just literally drive down here and away. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to sit here where they already can pick you off. Just drive straight away from him. Use this rock. Drive straight away. Okay. So as a quick recap, that was a good decision to not bother shooting the JPE and going to go kill the T-54E1. There's no reason. No reason for you to, to rush that shot. If you rush that shot and he doesn't panic, you are dead and you lose this game. GG, thank you for playing. What you do, okay, so perhaps I should be more descriptive in when I say this. So what you should have done, driven right past that JPE, driven to right over here, go ahead and aim fully on the T-54E1. If he shoots you once, he cannot kill you with one shot, likely. So, Take your time, make sure you deal that damage. The only way you lose. And then there's no reason for you to be staying where you're at. Again, this is you're only making it so that Artie can shoot you. Run away, my man. Run away. Oh, this is not what you want. Oh, this is not what you want. Run away. The the attempted throws by both teams are, are real. This is better. This is a better idea going around to the side. You just don't want to be somewhere where the arty can focus in on you. Lol. Did you really just shoot HE at the at anything on the JPE? Even if you are, I mean, short short of his tank being flipped over, and you shooting literally through the bottom of his tank, you're not gonna pen him with HE from any angle. Like load AP. If you're gonna do that, go through the track, go through the side. Again, you've made yourself vulnerable by that. Oh man. The attempted throws. Is it sad that I'm cheering for Artie to uh, to shoot you right now? All right. Um, so overall, I mean, it, it wasn't necessarily bad. Uh, again, I, I don't feel like sitting in that lane in the early game is going to be uh, very productive. So you have to be careful about that. You go up there, and if you can get your free damage early, then great. But if not, if it's not there, if their team is smart and allows you to make the first move onto the hill, then just leave. Just go someplace else where you can be more useful. Um, and again, you had plenty of opportunity, your team had plenty of opportunities to win through this 2-3 line, so you could have been really productive by pushing down there instead, particularly as your E4 moved that through that area as well. Um, you would have had a lot of opportunities, because they put their 10s on this one line, which isn't necessarily bad, but they didn't really have anything defending their back, right? They didn't really have anything defending this flank, this 2-3 flank. And that's where you, you could have played through there. And then again, there were some, uh, there were some missed opportunities um, in terms of how you played this, uh, this cap area that we talked about. I felt like you were far too vulnerable to artillery. If I was artillery, I would have shot you, and then I would have figured out how to, to get to the, to the mouse. The mouse really, you know, he got reset one. Uh, when well like twice but when he got lit when uh, 
their duder came back, who I don't remember who it was, and then also when he got lit by the JPE, he got shot as well. But um, it would have been pretty easy for artillery to take you out, given the positions that you were in. And those positions weren't actually critical to the outcome of the game. Like, there's no reason for you to be on the other side of the rock of the JPE. Like, that wasn't... You, you weren't making the difference there. Like, that wasn't keeping the, the, the his counter up. Like, you were already ahead in the count. Um, and also, your game would have been made a lot easier if you played through the back and killed the artillery first. Um, but that's also neither here nor there at this point. All right, so if we look at the stats... Uh, not bad. You had a full health mouse in the late game, which is always an advantage. Your shooting was okay. But yeah, I, I mean, I think your positioning probably could have used a little bit of work, but um, otherwise I thought you did all right. So GG, I'm happy that you won.